Okay. Shut the f up. All right, guys. So we're we're back at it again in Home Depot. This is actually our first time at Home Depot, so we're not really back at it again. But we're back at it again in Home Depot, guys. We found the stuff. Okay, look at this right here. Four by nine. It's called the Grecian White Baseboard. It's a nice thickness. It has a little beveled edge. Really nice for slides and grinds. So we're gonna get two of these. Make two ledges. One for me. One for Lane. Might even might even make a third one for a giveaway. <laughs> Who knows? I'm just saying. That's it. So if you're ever coming into Home Depot to find one for yourself, it's aisle four. So that's where it's located. <laughs> we're grabbing two. We're grabbing two. Two. Puts the third one in my hand. <laughs> okay, guys. Now we're in my garage. We got the granite pieces right here. Kind of marble, actually. But we got them. So the first step in what you're going to be wanting to do is make sure that you have wood. This is half-inch thick plywood, which I think is the best height in order to do what we're doing. And basically, we're just kind of cutting this to put it at the bottom. We're not making a frame. We're just cutting this the exact same size as this to put it at the bottom and elevate it a little bit. So you're going to want to get the measurement across. Now look what I do here. Okay. From there to there all right that's what you're getting and we figured it out that it's a little bit less than four inches so you want to set your table saw fence right here and make sure that you have a parental supervision or get your dad or whoever else to do this for you if you're not capable of using this properly set it to the right amount with the fence right over here you can see we set it to a little bit less than four and you're gonna want to just push the wood through now watch me as I do it you need to be very, 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 very cautious when you're doing this. A table saw is not a toy. It's a very, very dangerous instrument to cut wood. So, yeah, be very careful with it. Make sure that your blade, your blade seen right here, is set to the point where it's higher than the actual wood. So it needs to be so that this blade comes all the way through the wood when it cuts through. So to set that, of course, you would use your little turn thing here and turn it up. Mine kind of comes loose by itself, so I have to put a little clamp on here so it doesn't rotate. We're going to cut this wood right now. <laughs> I haven't used the table saw in a little bit, so even I'm nervous, you know? Even someone who, who's good with wood and does it all the time gets a little bit nervous when they cut wood with a table saw, especially, because it, it's just a little, it's a little scary of an instrument. It's very loud, too. But these guards on here, which I always suggest you have, will protect you very well. This will prevent you from cutting one of your fingers off, and this will prevent it from throwing some wood back at you and really hurt you. So I want to make sure that you know this once again, guys. Make sure that you do this with someone around. You have to make sure that you have a buddy such as my boy Lane Tanica over here, yeah, boy. helping you out. Because if something goes wrong, which can happen, you want someone there to be able to help you, dial 911, so on and so forth. Make sure you use safety precautions when doing this. Also, Keep your hand. Eye protection is key. I don't want y'all going blind, because how are you supposed to fingerboard blind? I mean, I know it's possible, but that's, that's difficult. Eye protection. Keep your fingers away from the damn blade, okay? We don't want any fingers getting cut off here. Make sure you have a buddy on the other end to catch it. Don't pull it. Tell them not to pull it, but just to, like, let it feed through. And okay? why don't we pull it? If you pull it, then you're pulling it against the pull of the blade, which causes it to go that way. Okay. And if it throws it that way, then I'm R.I.P. Sick! <laughs> We're not plugged in. Thank you, Lane. Why you have a buddy? You take your piece of wood and you make sure that your granite lines up all perfect with it. Which it does, does perfectly. It yeah, dude. Doesn't lean at all. You could do this with the table saw, but I really don't advise it. I advise you to get something called a chop saw or a miter saw. And this will make the smaller cut for you very nicely and very easily. So you could put this back on your table saw right there. You don't have any other table surface. 
I like to just use it. Make sure after you're done with your using your table saw, you unplug it immediately. That's a mistake right there on our part. I'm gonna open up your little miter saw here. Now the miter saw is uh, very good for making uh, you know your short little cuts that you need. So it's gonna be perfect for cutting this wood without having to push it through the dangerous table saw here. Take your piece of your granite and line it up with your wood again. Then you're gonna mark off your spots. So I want it right there. I don't want it right there. Cut off that shitty piece of wood at the end. So, put your granite to the side again. Take your wood. And when you cut, because we traced it and we didn't measure it out, you want to cut on the actual line. Because that line isn't exactly where it is. You're going to want to cut on that line so that it'll be the proper measurement. So, again, eye protection is key. Eye protection is key. Plug it in. You have to press that down and squeeze the trigger at the same time. As you can see here, the little yellow thing and then the actual trigger. So you can't just start it with the trigger, but if you press that and that, Woo! it turns on just Woo! like that. Well, make sure you get a little buddy to hold this for you. Just hold it. I got you. Yeah. So that you push it against this. This is your fence here. This is your fence. So you're going to push it up against that and push it down. So you're just applying pressure just like that. Line up your saw so that it's coming down right on the line which it is, and then you just squeeze both triggers. There you go. Shield it up. All right, take out any little debris from inside of there, because you don't want it kicking back at you. Get your next cut. Remember where you drew the line. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna be a little bit to the side of this one. Just a tad bit. So that the edge of your blade is hitting that line, just the edge. And because this is going to be the underbelly piece, we're going to make sure we're to the left of that line. To the left, okay? So, it. we're going through. And you have, uh, you have your ledge right there. You have a, a fingerboard ledge. That's very low, but that's okay, because it's kind of like a mani pad. And it's really good for beginners because, you know, if you can't pop your tricks that high, there you go. There's your perfect ledge. So we got one done. We're going to cut our next pieces of wood here with the same piece. That's why it's always nice to run it through the table saw and get that strip. So now all you got to do is make some easy cuts. And, of course, you're just going to trace your pieces of granite again. <laughs> Keep up. Copyright. Once you're finished cutting out the board to put underneath the granite, you want to make sure you sand it. You can do this by hand, or if you have a finishing sander, or an orbital sander, or any kind of belt sander, you can sand this. So make sure you're using like a higher grit. I'm using 150 grit to actually sand this right now. So you're just going to go on the top, Get make sure you get all of the sides. Holy bird! Jesus Christ! You're going to get all of the sides. Make sure all those corners are nice and dull so that they don't, they don't give you any splinters when you're fingerboarding. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and sand this, guys. Make sure you get all of that. By the way, we also got these two done, so this is our last one. We're yeah, practically this is our pros. last one right here. And make sure you get your little safety inspector. You, you have to make sure your inspector is half Peruvian, half Japanese. Actually, this one is probably the best job out of those two. Nice or and out smooth. Of make sure the corners are nice and round. No splinters anywhere. So that's the that's what you're trying to achieve here. Looks pretty good, dude. That's pretty good, to be honest. Looks pretty good. So now the last step. It's just gluing these things, so just putting these on top and getting them pasted down. So let, let's let's go to that. You recording? It's been recording. Oh, so so now we're in my room and uh, we are going to put this granite piece on our piece of wood. So you're gonna find your best side and put it on the bottom. So this is probably this is the okay side. 
This is okay side. They're both pretty shitty, so we're just gonna put this one. We're gonna put this one on the bottom here. Okay, so we're putting that one on the bottom. This is the part that's gonna be covered up. So you just wanna line it up, make sure it's all good. Nothing else you need to change. This one's a little off, but it's okay. We're gonna take your wood glue. Make sure it is wood glue. I use Gorilla Wood Glue because you can get a lot of it for really cheap. Yeah, Excuse right. a little bit. And uh, kind of let it go on the sides. Make sure you're doing this on a towel. You don't want to mess up your mother's favorite coffee table. Make sure you have just enough glue everywhere. Right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to make an X in the center with the glue. Just a nice little X. Like kindergarten stuff. Kindergarten type shit, okay? I feel like that's a lot of glue, bud. It's a lot of glue, but we want it to stay forever, all right? Then you're going to take it, and you're going to have a little bit of squishing out, you know, because I put so much. <laughs> it's okay if you get this stuff on your hands, because it's wood glue. It comes off very easily. So just kind of sit it on top. If it comes off easily, then why is it called glue? It comes off of your skin easily, because it's wood glue, not skin glue. Take your little towel and wipe it. Wipe off all the excess. All the excess glue. I put a little bit too much. Don't be like me. I told you, it's a little too much. <laughs> Everybody go check out <laughs> Lane Tanaka's video. I put it right here. Just type in the search bar L A N E T A N K A. Lane Tanaka. Click on the channel. The first video you'll see might be the video that I'm in. I saved the f dog, okay? I'm a real nice guy. Thank you. Look, you see how easily wood glue comes off your fingers? Really easy. So now, once you have all three of them put on there, you just take a heavy object, like a big textbook, and place it on top of all three so that they will be compressed and be all nice when you have them done. So I'm going to give these about eight hours. They'll be ready to go. So eight hours. Here we go. So guys, we're done making the ledges. They just gotta sit and be pressed for about eight hours. We cut the wood, we glued them on, they're all done. My only issue is that I have three and I only needed two. So I'm going to be giving one of them away to you guys. All you have to do to enter in this giveaway is like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then go follow me on Instagram. My Instagram at is at Chubby Muffin FB. I'm going to have it right here on the screen. Pause it. I'll keep it up for a while. There's only one B in the Chubby. Chubby Muffin FB right here. And direct message me the word muffin just by itself. And I'll show you guys how to do that just in case you don't know. You just go to that person. So you would search somebody up. Say, I'll search up Kelsey right, right there. And then you just go here, the top one right there. Send message muffin. Boom! That's how you do it right there. It's all you gotta do. Type in muffin. I'll see that and you'll automatically be entered into the giveaway. Just make sure you subscribe, like this video, and follow me on Instagram as well. I'll be announcing the giveaway winner on April 1st, April Fool's Day. You won! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I guarantee it's not a prank, okay? You're gonna be the winner on April 1st. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope I made it simple and easy enough. Remember to be safe when you're using the saws. Y'all have a great day.